A Nigerian senator, Alin Dume, has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to urgently sign or issue an unexplained wealth order to strengthen the fight against corruption. This kind of order places the burden on the individual rather than an enforcement agency to prove how they accumulated their wealth and to raise evidence to verify the sources of their wealth. Ndume also urged President Buhari to prevail on the National Assembly to pass the proceeds of crime bill in time, regardless of the bickering on, uh, on the management of the recovered proceeds. He said there was a need to look at the incidents of corruption, most especially those occasioned by public officers who are in trust of public wealth. Now, speaking further on how to address the menace, Ndume said the government must go a step further to protect the whistleblowers. Well, joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdulhamid. Abdul he is a legal practitioner. Thank you very much for joining us, Tunji. Thank you very much. Uh, what, 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 in, what, what interests me the most is the part where we talk about the burden being on, you know, the individual to um, tell us where the source of their wealth is or how they make these monies. But um, I remember when this government came into power, there, there was a thing about whistleblowing so you could whistleblow we saw a lot of a few people you know did it um but then there was there were stories also that emerged of whistleblowers not getting the monies that the government promised to pay them so here we are again having this conversation will it really ever work uh, you see nigeria's situation is uh, peculiar peculiar in the sense that uh, we want to inch all every problem on lack of law lack of uh, order lack of whatever whatever you see, the order or law is not our problem. The implementation and enforcement of, that, of those laws are the problem we are having. And that is why the, the, the what's it called now? Enforcement. Uh, the, the, no, the, the particular law, uh, whistleblowing, whistleblowing, uh, blow, blow, blowing uh, blowers uh, law. law did not work because uh, it, was not be, it was not being implemented the way it should be. And that's why we are having problems. So, and that's why I'm one of those who don't believe in the fact that, look, our problem in this country is about our law. Our country is about our about president making an order or whatever. I don't believe in it. We have enough laws in this country. We have enough order from the president that can, that can change the country. But what we're lacking is the enforcement and the implementation. Just like he cited, the kidnapping, uh, uh, kidnapper, the, or sorry, uh, whistleblower's uh, law. It's not working because uh, the government is not even being sincere in implementing it and enforcing it. Somebody will give uh, information and thereafter there will be issue regarding his payment. So you can see where the problem is. And that's why the thing died uh, naturally. You will give uh, information be, uh, thereafter your, your, your security is not... Uh, uh, I was about to uh, ask your that. Privacy. Where is the safety not... for the man who sticks his neck out there to say, blow a whistle and say, well... I've noticed that this person is spending or living a lavish life and, and I, I can't not, you know, put it side by side with what he does as his day job. And then at the end of the day, that person ends up dead. So where is the security? Yeah, that is a, that is a problem. So the, like, like I said, the implementation and enforcement is our major problem. So whether if you like, go and do a proceed of a, 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 what's it called? Wealth. Wealth bill or whatever, uh, this, the uh, unexplained uh, wealth. wealth. You know, even though it's unexplained what they're talking about, all these are covered cover by our law. If you are in a position of authority or you're in government position and you are any more than what you have, they can investigate you. And when they investigate who's you... Who's they? they? Who's they? Because they, you say... They, 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 when I say <laughs> who's they? No, they, we, have, we have DSS, we have the police, we have the... These are their job. Their job is to do investigation and, 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 and expose their uh, corruptions. So that they, they, they are the agency of government responsible for that uh, 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 work. So if they do their job, they'll be able to expose people who are corrupt in, the, in terms of... In terms of uh, 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 in, in the course of doing their job. So what is the challenge of the EFCC, the ICPC, we have all of them, the DSS, uh, wh why do you think that they're unable to, uh, because I don't think I want to use the word unable, they are very capable, we see them, you know, in, I mean we saw the bra issue, we saw the diamonds, we saw the jewelries uh, from the former Minister of Aviation, so what's stopping them from investigating other politicians that have wealth that are inexplicable? Even those who are investigating, they have, they have where they are in this, uh, How do you mean? Because I know some of them are, we know the salary some of them are earning, and we know the lifestyle they are living. 
and we know the kind of car they are driving. So it's very difficult. So in this country, insincerity is one of our problems, major problems we have, insincerity and lack of political will. To, you know, the, our structure is, in a way, is such in a way that, look, once you are in a position of authority, or once you are in good book of the goals in government, you are likely to go away with anything. Because uh, people will just close their eyes to, to what you are doing. It's when you are now against them that those things will not be exposed. You see, a situation whereby people who are committing crime will be protected. And those who are, they will, they will tell you they, it, it, it is unconstitutional for them to expose people who are committing crime. It would, they, 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 for example, the issue of uh, the bandits and Boko Haram or whatever, because we are told some, some of them have been arrested, but they will, mm -hmm. not, be, they will not expose them. There are people who are like, alleged to have stolen money or political, uh, to have been politi corrupt politically. Their names have been uh, rolled out by the same government. So you can see the insincerity in what, I'm, in, in what is happening. So in the enforcement and implementation, if it's not well thought out, or if, if there's no fairness and equity in, in, in implementing it, there's no way you can get results. So our problem is not about whether a lack of law, lack of, we have enough law on ground. There are law, there's what's called breach of trust, you know, the criminal breach of trust. In other words, if you are in a position of authority and money is given to you, and that money you divide it to another area. In fact, if you are giving money, say for instance, to go and construct a particular road, and you use that money, you do not use the money for your benefit, but you use the money to buy another thing that will be beneficial to the government. That is a, that's an offense under our law. For example, if you go to bank now again, you borrow money, and the, the object of, or the purpose of that of borrowing that money was that, that I want to use it to build a house. You now use the money to marry another wife, or you use the money to buy a car. As, 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 as a you have used, you have, you've not, you've not, you've not, that is what they call that fashion, confession. Hmm. So it's an offense. So stealing is there. So it, it, it's, it's about doing investigation. And, and, and punishing people for committing so, crime. So it's not about bringing a new law, bringing a new order or whatever. We have, already, we have laws in existence that can cater for, for all these things that, that is happening already. It, I'm struggling with the thought of the fact that we have a government in power that rolled, rose to power on the wings of coming to fight corruption in the system and reading the country somewhat of it. Um, and you're telling me that in 2021 that our agencies that are set up to deal with corruption, have corrupt people in them. Of and course. that's why, in your words, they're unable to investigate yeah. these things. Um, I'm also struggling with the, the fact that we have these institutions uh, and they're unable to function. So I'm asking, how do we build strong institutions that can stand alone um, without being the, let's say, um, dogs of the government in power, whether it be the APC, the PDP, or whatever party? You see, it's going to be difficult for us to be able to build any institution in this country because we rely on individuals. When we talk now, we talk about uh, body language. When we talk, we talk about a uh, social person. Social person. You don't talk about institution, you talk about individual. So the, the more we talk about individual, the more we get, the more we won't be able to resolve the issue. But if you have a system that works, whether or not that person is there, you will be able to cure whatever is, is happening there. So the, the issue of structure, if our system not working the way it should, be, it should work, it's a, it's a major problem. So the institution whereby those in authority will not will say because this is my person or this is my uh, is from my community, is my ethnic uh, member, or it's my, it's, it's, it, it, we are we are both Muslim, we are Christian, we are this and that. The, based on that, you cannot. So you're saying we're the part right? of the problem. Is that what you're saying? The Nigerian society is part of the problem, and that's why our institu institutions cannot be strengthened. We are. We are. We are. We are majority of us are part of the problem. So does this mean that we're going to keep wallowing in this situation? Because in one breath you're saying we have to, but in the other breath you're saying it's going to be difficult. But but, it, but can we still at least achieve it? I, 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 I doubt if Is we can. Is there a possibility? I, I doubt because uh, except we have a leader or those in government who will come and change things, the way, you will ask what they are saying. Not, not, but not, if you not, just not painted a something picture of something those else. in government be, as being very corrupt, how will very corrupt people want to um, build institutions that are strong enough to investigate them? No, they, they, them if they are jail. sincere and they, will, they are ready, that's why I say if you are a, a, a leader who is ready to fight the, system, uh, the corruption or they, 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 is ready to, to lead by, by example, not by what he says alone. Because I remember when the president, this current president, President Bermuda Dubari, came into power in 2015. The first two weeks, everybody was doing the, the writing because they were talking about, ah, this man will not take nonsense. But after three, two or three weeks, they realized that this man is more or less like the same thing with the people already on ground. They, everybody went back to their normal system. 
and then the thing continues. So in other words, if you have a leader that is ready to lead by example, they are ready to say, look, as a, as, as, as a political as, as, as office holder, you must do this, you must do that. You must not go to this place to do this. You must not, that same person is also not going the same way. People will follow suit. But when you say you are a leader, you say, look, as a, as a, as a government officer, you must not travel to a social place. You must not do this and this and that. And you are doing the same thing. You expect people to, not to follow Can your suit. Can we find suits. such leaders in today's Nigeria? Yeah, that's why I say it's going to be difficult because as it is today. So you're saying that you're, the, you yourself cannot be a leader. No, it's going that, to be, that, no, that, I that say it's going to be difficult. Free. It's going to be difficult. I'm not saying you can, we can't get it. It's going to be difficult. But that's why I asked. Do the we, system do that, 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 will bring out, that, that will bring out a, a leader in this country will not, will not, if you don't have money, if you don't have money, you may not be able to get there. And most of the people that, 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 that may fall in the category of people we are, we are looking at may not even have the ability or the money or the capacity to be able to get there. So, and if you are able to get there through people who have money, there is no way they will not control you. There is no way you will be there alone and say, yes, I, I, you have been voted into power, you cannot control me. There is no way. You did not get so, there by So yourself. where does that leave the average Nigerian right now? The, the, the only situation where things can change is when all of us are ready for the change. What do I mean? If you all see political system, or, the, the, or, or, or we have, if we develop more interest in who governs our, our, us, who becomes our leader, who becomes our governor, who becomes our uh, president, who becomes our uh, as of our rep member, if we don't leave it for people who are corrupt, because today what we say is that people who, who see themselves as saints, in quotes, leave the system for those who they say are corrupt, people they call devil, people they call criminals, and they are expecting those criminals, they, those people they call criminals, to bring results for them or to change the situation to them positively. There is no way you can see any change from anybody. So if you want, if you want, a, if you want that thing to change, we all must be interested in, in, in it. We must all participate, participate and, decide, and change our attitude. The okay. attitude of average politician is the average attitude of an average Nigerian. Hmm. It's when they get the, 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 if, if they don't have the opportunity, they will tell you this and that. When they get there, they join them. That is the, that is the situation of this. So everybody is waiting okay. for his, his turn. That's 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 what Nigerians are. Majority of Nigerians are waiting for. They are waiting for their turn when he will get to his turn, so that be able to do his own, his, uh, get his own uh, money quick, quick. So that, that's, that's, so until we all change our attitude and we have the interest of our people at heart. In other words, what I'm, I'm in, in government not to make money. I'm in government not to uh, to be rich, but I'm in government to serve people. When we okay. see government as, as as being government as service, that is when we are going to have a a, a proper change. Well, Tunji Abdulhamid is a legal practitioner. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break now to hear what Nigerians have to say about the unexplained wealth order. And when we return, I'll give you my take. This, this unexplained um, wealth deal it's really well established in some other countries, like in the UK, and I think it's very necessary in Nigeria because I probably, the what we have presently is not, not sufficient. The, the matter of um, um, declaring of assets, people do have ways of, of, of subverting that, uh, that law. So I think everyone should be able to explain how he earned his money, if he earned the money in a legitimate way. I think, I think it's very necessary that you sign it into, into law. Yes, I think so. I believe so. And if that is done, I think... Uh, it will stop a lot of these uh, corruptions we have around, and people will be up and doing, especially for those uh, uh, honorables, the ministers, the government officials and all that, acquiring wealth in a very corrupt manner and all that. So signing those laws will actually, you know, stop those guys from these, uh, from these uh, illicit affairs. Well, either the president signs it or not, I think it's to cop corruption. corruption. So either signing it or not, corruption is still, <laughs> is still the country. So any which way? Signing the bill is not even the problem because the present gov government now that we are now, this present regime, from, let's say from top to the, to the list, all of them are corrupt. I don't think there's any way someone can stop corruption in this country. So if you want to sign it, let him go ahead and sign it. If you don't want to sign it, all is left for them. But I don't think anything can stop corruption in this country because Corruption is rooted deep into our blood. 
this, this on it. Well, the people, they say, uh, the government, they say, are a reflection of the people. You cannot give what you do not have. As Nigerians, until we decide that we want a society that is corrupt free and that we will lead by example. And when we say leading by example, it begins with you in your home, in your place of work, in your business. Stop taking those kickbacks and under the table or brown envelopes. We all have to start where we stand for corruption to get kicked out of this country or even reduced to its barest minimum. So until we're ready, it's never going to happen. I'm Mary Anakon. Have a great day.